Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, zinc hydroxide. So let's work from left to right. I first see zinc, so I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where zinc is, and zinc is right over here. Zinc is represented by a Zn. So I'm going to write that down. I got Zn, right? But now here's the thing. What charge am I going to use for zinc, right? It's in this box, which means that it's a transition metal. So usually transition metals have more than one charge, right? But I don't see a Roman numeral here. Usually with transition metals, you see a Roman numeral. So what's the catch? I would star this one because this is an exception. Even though zinc is in a transition metal, it only has one charge. And that charge is always going to be a plus two charge. So just write that down, guys, or put it in your, your little book of memorizations for chemistry. Zinc is always going to be a plus two. So I know that this is going to be a plus two charge. Now I move forward. I see that I have hydroxide. It's an IDE ending, which maybe means that it's a non-metal on the periodic table. But if I search for something that says like hydroxium, I'm never going to find it on the periodic table. That means that it's a polyatomic ion, and I wrote this one down, so also star this, guys. Even though it has an IDE ending, this is a polyatomic ion. So it's OH with a negative one. Now, since we have both components and we have the charges, we do this little trick where we take the charges and we crisscross them to just see how many of each I need for my formula. This plus two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two hydroxides, and then this one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one zinc. When you do this crisscrossing, don't worry about the positives and the negatives, and you can kind of like scribble the, the charges out. We're only going to be looking at the subscripts, because that's what we're going to use for the formula. So now let's get to it. I got zinc. I only need one of them, so I don't have to write this one. But when you have multiple polyatomics, in this case I have two hydroxides, I need parentheses. That's a rule. So I'm going to put parentheses OH, close the parentheses, and now I say how many I have. I have two of them. And I am done. So zinc hydroxide is ZnOH2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in future lessons. If you want to check the channel out, we also have physics and math videos at the time, you know, at the present moment. So go check it out. All right. We may have others in the future. So check it out. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.